morning. It's Mask Monday, and I have a 14 karat gold mask today. I don't know. It doesn't look too gold to me. Uh, is it two layers? I don't understand. Oh, there it goes. It's on two. It's on two layers. <laughs> Dripping. Uh, here we go. This is the package. It's trying to hold it up without it dripping all over. Got it at um, Target. If and as usual, I forgot to uh, bring something to wipe my hands on. I'm just going to wipe it on my pajama bottoms because I'm going to wash them anyway. Hopefully it doesn't stain them. This isn't as cold because I got smart. I still have my electric blanket on. So I shoved it under my electric blanket for a little bit. <laughs> Warmed it up a little bit. Um, I have a, a high school tag. I got this from... Timmy's boxes and I think don't remember where she got it from but anyway it's all about your high school years I'll see if I can find a picture of me in high school but I don't have hardly any pictures because we got flooded out and once twice and I lost all my pictures of the past almost someday I've got a book that my daughter-in-law did for me for Christmas that's got all these photos from the few that we found from the past, they're in a book now, and maybe I'll show you some pages of the book with me and my wedding dress and my high school prom dress and as a little kid and all that kind of stuff, if that'd be something you'd be interested in. So anyway, back to high school. I was graduated from high school in 1967. Did you marry your high school sweetheart? Actually, I did. I got married when I was 18. I was young and dumb. I had a stepmother who was not the nicest person, shall we say, and uh, I think I got married so young to get out of the house, which, you know, other than getting my wonderful children, it was kind of a mistake because 15 years later I got divorced. <laughs> um, what kind of car did you drive? I didn't have a car in high school, but right out of high school I got a 1956 Chevy Bel Air in blue and white. Love that car. Uh, what kind of job? Well, in high school, I babysat. Um, my first year of college, I worked at a place that was, it was like a foster freeze on one side and a KFC on the other, but the kitchens were the same, so you could run back and forth between either side. Um, where did you live? I lived in San Diego. Well, it wasn't San Diego proper, it was a suburb of San Diego. Loved it. It was a great place to be a teenager because there's the beach and surfing and all that. And then you could go up. There's mountains. You could turn around the other way and go up in the mountains. San Diego's a great little town. Lots to do there. They have the world's biggest, best zoo there. One summer as a teenager, I um, was an intern at the zoo. And every Saturday I would take the uh, bus down to the zoo in the morning, first thing. And do different whatever job they gave me to do clean cages or whatever and then halfway through the day I was done and then I could just stay at the zoo and then take the bus home in the in the that late afternoon it was it was great um, were you popular um, not really I had friends in all the you know I had friends with the jocks and with the smart kids and with the surfer kids and I had friends in all the different groups but I wasn't wouldn't say I was popular. Um, were you in choir or band? No. I sang in choir in church many years later but in high school I didn't do either one of those. I can't play any kind of instrument. Wish I could but I can't. <laughs> Ever get suspended? No. Well, no. I don't think I did. I'm trying to think. 
been a long time. <laughs> Would you go back to high school? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I had fun high school years, but maybe if I knew then what I know now, I might for a little while, but uh, going back young and dumb, no. <laughs> um, do you still talk to the person you went to the prom with? Well, yeah, sometimes it's my ex-husband. <laughs> Uh, did you ever skip school? No, I was the goody two-shoes. My sister was the wild child, but I was the goody two-shoes. <laughs> well, I think we had a senior skip day that everybody skipped school. It was kind of like an approved, semi-approved skip, skip day. So I guess technically I did. Did you go to the football games? Yes, everybody went to the football games. Uh, favorite subject? Mm, it's a tie, I think, between history and English. I was more the liberal arts type person. Everybody in my family here that I live with, they're all the science and math people, and I'm the only liberal arts one in the house. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to look when I started. Oh, here it's on my... I always forget that it's on my phone, the timer. <laughs> I think this is 15 minutes that you... And it's been seven, so we're halfway there. But we're almost done with the list. <laughs> um, let's see. Favorite subject. Still have your... can't read my writing. Yearbook. Oh. No, when I got flooded out, that got ruined. So I don't have my yearbook. I've gone back and you can look at them online now. So I've gone back and looked. And I do have... I couldn't get it down. It's way up in the top of my closet. Um, I'll see if I can find a one, but I do have a, like that big senior portrait, so that's all I have. <laughs> I don't have the yearbook. Um, um, did you follow your original career path? No, I wanted to be a teacher, and I ended up. I did my first year of college. I still had planned on being a teacher, but then got married at 18 and went to Japan and had kids and never really worked my whole marriage so um, I ended up in purchasing I just kind of stumbled in it I had various and sundry jobs I worked in shipping and receiving I worked in the stock room and when I worked in the stock stock room I was always telling them what to buy you know oh we're almost out of this you need to buy this and then pretty soon I got into being the one to buy it and then you know, went from there and I spent probably 25 years in purchasing. It, mostly hardware and stuff like that, nothing exciting. <laughs> Not like, I tell people I was a buyer and they're like, ooh, clothes? And I'm like, no, nothing fun like that. Nuts and bolts and screws, more like that kind of stuff. I did have this one job, I really enjoyed it. Worked there for seven years maybe. It was a telecom company, and they needed all these obscure weird stuff because they were repairing telephones. And um, so it was like a lot of research, finding things that were obsolete. And sometimes I'd get to go out and run errands and get out of, the, out of work and go run around in my car and do stuff. So I, I really enjoyed that job. But I got laid off. In fact, I worked three main, three main jobs over 30, 25, 30 years. And I was a very loyal employee, worked at one like 10, one seven, you know, just long times at each one. I got laid off from all three of them. So, you know, they want you to be loyal to them, but they're not so loyal to you. <laughs> um, then the last job I had, I was only there two or three years. Then I went out on disability. That was the end of my working career. Let's see. Um, what was my style? I was kind of a surfer girl, you know, but in school, I mean, this is school in the 60s, you had to wear a dress and it had to um, hit the middle of your knee. When you went into gym, they would check you sometimes if it looked too short and you had to kneel down and then if your skirt didn't touch the floor, then you had to either rip out the hem or get sent home. 
so we, as you know, this was the beginnings of the mini skirt. So at school, we were like, didn't want to wear these long old ugly skirts. So we'd roll them up, and then when we get to gym, we'd roll them back down so we didn't get caught. And you couldn't wear like spaghetti straps, or anything like that. It had to be like a full top. Um, had to be a dress. Couldn't wear shorts. Right after I got out of high school, they started letting you wear pants at least. And then later on, shorts. And now pff, anything goes. <laughs> Well, my grandkids, two of my grandkids go to, um, well, well, one went, she's graduated, but they, all the way through from kindergarten on up, they went to a private Christian school, so they had to wear uniforms, which I'm not, not mad about that. I think, I think that's a good thing that they have to wear the uniform, so, you know, nobody can look down on somebody else because they dressed better or whatever. No, not so much mean girl stuff. Um, favorite shoes? I don't know. Um, I know when I was younger, younger, uh, before high school, I wanted penny loafers, and my mom wouldn't get them. She got those ugly Oxfords, which eventually became in the black and white ones, saddle shoes, I think they call them, too. Um, but I hated those. I wanted the penny loafers. Eventually got them, but in high school, I probably just wore white kids. I don't even remember what I wore for shoes. Favorite thing to eat for lunch? I mean, one whole year, I think it was my junior year, I was on this kick and I had a bologna and cheese sandwich and then I'd bring a little bag of um, barbecue potato chips and I'd put the barbecue potato chips on the bologna and cheese sandwich and I had that for lunch almost every day. <laughs> I mostly bought my lunch. We didn't have a lot of money. Couldn't really afford for me to buy. I think I got I got, it was 50 cents for a long time allowance. And then when I got in high school, I think it was $5 allowance, but that included lunch money, school supplies, whatever. So, so I would not spend it on lunches. I'd bring my own so I'd have a little more money to, I mean, back in, back then it was, gas was so cheap. It was like under 30 cents a gallon. If you, if, we'd all chip in and we could get a dollar's worth of gas and we could go cruising all night. <laughs> so money went a lot longer, a lot farther back in those days. Um, favorite band. Most of my friends were Beatles people, but I just, you know, and they're like, oh, Paul, Ringo, oh, you know, George, blah, blah, blah. And I was just not a real Beatles girl. I was a Beach Boys girl. I love the Beach Boys, still do. Been to their concerts live several times. My hair's not quite long enough to be in a ponytail. The back always falls out. <laughs> I just put it in there for this activity. <laughs> uh, my high school hero. I don't think I had a high school hero. I didn't even date anybody from my high school. I dated people from other places. I had never dated anybody from high school. Um, how old were you when you graduated? I was 17. I was 17 when I started college, too. My birthday's in November, and so I had just turned 17 when, when uh, high school. I was barely past, out of 16. I, you know, like, what, two months into 17 when I gra started high school, uh, graduated from high school. And then I, um, started college when I was, like, 17 and a half. You know, in May, not May, September, September of the next year, yeah, so I was almost 18 when I started college. And then I went that first year, and then I got married in June, so, of the, of the, my first year of college, I got married that June and went to Japan to be with my husband, so, never went back, well, I went back, to, after I got divorced, I went back to college and got an AA, but it was too hard being a single parent and going to college and working and all that, so I um, only got an AA and never went on and got my BA, but, you know, I did okay. Purchasing was a good career for me, so that's the end of the high school ones. Uh, so if you want to do this tag, feel free. It's... I think, oops, sorry dog, I dropped a piece of paper fell out of my, <laughs> out of my uh, book here and scared one of the dogs. 
I've got at the front, I put a couple pictures of the, the big dog. He was in my chair that I sit in, this chair here, this, this, this chair. He was in my chair and I made him get out and there's a couple pictures of him giving me the evil eye cause, <laughs> and begging me, please, I want to get back in the chair. Uh, and if I find a picture of me, I'm, I might put it at the end. I think I might have one of me, a prom picture. So, you know, tie in with the whole graduation thing. Let's see, oh, we just hit 15 minutes. So if you would like to, this started with just Nina about a year ago, and then a whole bunch of us have piled on. So if you want to join us in the Mask Mondays, just uh, if you put hashtag Mass Monday ladies, then it kind of ties you into the whole group in your in your title. There's a bunch of us that do this, probably 20 people at least, maybe 30 now. It's just more people all the time. I have, I just got a notification from Luxury Diva that uh, they just charged me, so the box will be here pretty soon. I, pretty, I haven't heard anything from BoxyCharm, so I might have put BoxyCharm on hold for now. And then I should get, I haven't heard anything from um, uh, Diva by Sonia, but I usually get a bag from her towards the end of the month that's, you know, makeup and stuff for $12. It's like Ipsy, only usually get a couple full size. It's not just all samples. And uh, what else is coming? Uh, we Blessings say they've styled me so that must be ready to come pretty soon if you don't know what we blessings is it's kind of a new one new one on the block for a styling service they i think they started with kids is why it calls it calls themselves we blessings but now they do kids and teens and adults and men and plus size and all that stuff and it's eight dollars to ship to you and anything you don't want ships back to them free they give you an envelope or a you know envelope and a label thing to send back anything you don't want and everything in there it's all brand names you've heard of like Macy's brands or Penny's brands or whatever it's all the ones you've heard of not these obscure ones <laughs> and um, everything's 40 to 60 percent off it, I've averaged 50 percent off like last month you can go back and look if you want I got two pairs of jeans nice jeans um, and two sweaters, I think it was, and maybe one sweater and a top. Yeah, I think it was one sweater and a, a like a tunic for $116. And I've paid almost that for a pair of jeans from Stitch Fix. So anyway, I've, enjoy, I've been enjoying Wee Blessings. I'm getting to the point where I really don't need any more clothes, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for unboxings. <laughs> I really don't need any more clothes. The mid-February, I've got my stitch fix coming. I only do it quarterly, and somehow I got off. I like to do it at the end, the beginning of a season, but somehow I got mid-season. I'm not sure how that happened because I would want this box to be spring. So if I do this one in February, March, April, May, that's almost beginning of summer. So I'm kind of missing out on the spring box unless I tell them I want spring stuff, which I haven't told them anything yet. I just, you know, told them surprise me. What are you doing, dog? The little puppies. I'm trying to get under my bed, but I've got one of those mechanical beds, and it's you can't really get under it because it's got a big box of mechanisms. I've got one of those ones that raise up. Oh, that's funny. This I'm so tired this morning because I couldn't get to sleep last night. It was like 2.30, I finally fell asleep. And then about 4.30, um... Oh, he just threw a dog just threw up on the rug. Great. Um, guess he was trying to hide under the rug and do it. I mean, under the bed and do it because he thinks he's in trouble. Anyway, at about 4:30, we got an electric storm and the power went out. And when the power goes out, my electric bed it's got a vibrator thing on it, and that turns on in the middle of the night. It turned on and scared me to death. <laughs> I was like, what was that? <laughs> So then I had trouble getting back to sleep. So uh, I'm a little tired. I gotta go pick up groceries. That probably, let's see, it's 10.30. I think they're supposed to be ready at 11. So I need to get, I still got my PJs on. I need to get some 
some clothes on and get out of here and go pick up the groceries. Um, so anyway, if you join and enjoy unboxings, Mass Monday on Fridays, I do a Friday Five where I take stuff out of my closet and have you um, help me decide whether I want to keep it or not. It was dresses last Friday. I think I have more dresses for this Friday. Um, if you enjoy that kind of content, please subscribe. We have I'm up, up to 298. When I hit three, I've got a big old box of stuff I'm going to give away. So we only need two more people. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe and I will see you all real soon.